Hello, hello. All right. Welcome, welcome, and welcome back to anyone who's recently joining or tuning in. Thank you for being at the Design Science Studios Dissolve and Bloom, a revolutionary creative showcase to catalyze planetary and cultural regeneration. Next up, we have a choose your own adventure segment, which is really exciting. And to kick that off, um, we will actually welcome Vincent to the stage. And for anybody tuning in on the stream, um, excited to kind of show you all a little bit of the inside. Um, and if you're coming in from the stream, you are welcome to come all the way in from the stream um, because you won't be able to see everything that's happening uh, if you are just tuning in on the stream uh, because there's an incredible workshop uh, that we are going to get to experience from dawn uh, and then there's a beaming session with Mark. Mark is going to be hosting that whole thing. So welcoming in vincent who is a systems designer information architect social entrepreneur and the founder of catalyst a connection platform specializing in mapping and matchmaking and the goal of his work is to help people navigate and find the people the resources and the opportunities that they need to create coordinated impact and so this is going to show us how to get around and um if it weren't for vincent the all of our wildest dreams that we all <laughs> our complicated ass events probably would continue to have a hard time landing for people so we had a really fun conversation the other day Vincent was like okay so I'm like the structural engineer and you're like the architect right you just dream a thing and then do it so here we are we're dreaming the thing and we're doing it and I'm so grateful to have Vincent as a partner in all the work that we're doing and really check out Catalyst it's incredible you get a peek into it now thanks so much Roxy um yeah, I was saying the DSS is like this architectural vision of a cloud city. And I'm like, all right, we need beams here and we need and we need some roads. And so I'm going to help um, yeah, highlight some of the pathways that um, for the DSS and particularly right now, show you guys how to navigate the next session in this incredible event. So um, post a link to this to the chat in a second, but this is going to be the simple page where you can see the agenda. Um, as you see right now, we're in this area where the vision train in yellow is going to be branching out into three different uh, rooms. So one will be to stay in here, um, and up next will be breath and voice, art tour, um, flux one. Any of these sessions, you can click and um, explore more information about that session. Um, if you got a ticket and you're logged in, you can also um, bookmark and um, or star sessions that you're interested in. Um, in the beaming room, which is going to be the light purple here, you can see Grow Your Own Creative Project by Don King. Um, and if you choose to go to want to switch around to different rooms, there will be a, uh, a red join event button, which will take you to the um, Zoom room that this um, session is happening. Uh, you also can scroll down and see the, the things this information is related to. So this session is related to Don King. You can click to view that presenter and then also the track beaming. So if you wanted to view the whole track, you can see all the sessions that are happening in, in beaming and have the link to join there as well. And the third um, area is going to be this Explore the Dissolve and Bloom exhibition. Um, on the left, this is actually the Mora room where you can um, just within this window, click and then be able to explore. Um, you also can open this in a new tab by just clicking the URL, which opens this in New York City. Um, and then you can also see all the different art exhibitions that you guys can explore uh, throughout the rest of the event. Um, some of these have their own websites, which if you click, you'll be able to check those out as well. And then you can click back to get back to the, the track. So this is 
the kind of main view. Um, going to this link, you could switch the view as well. This one has kind of everything in a calendar view. And then if you just want a really simple overview of what today and tomorrow looks like, um, that's in this list view right here. Uh, if there's something that you're looking for, you can also search and it'll help you find that thing. And um, if you want to dive in even deeper, you can click this purple button to go to the event page. And the event page is where now and also after the event, all of this content will be available for you guys. Um, and so what the event page looks like is that um, we have what's happening right now. Um, this module we just added for featured objects. These are all of the art exhibitions that are being featured right now for this event. And so at any point in time, you can go back to this page and explore these events. Don't want you to have FOMO because there's so much cool stuff happening. Um, and then there's also a list of all the attendees, um, the three tracks with links to the Zoom rooms if you need to find another way to get into the right room. Um, and then the agenda is also on the homepage as well. Um, last thing, if anyone wants to dive really deep, you could go into the directory um, and on the left shows the different types of, of information that's here. So if you wanted to see those projects that I mentioned that were featured, um, you can go in and, and check those out. Um, and clicking on those projects will give you a little little browser to, to peek in. Um, and feel free, to, feel free to add comments. Um, if there's something you like, let everyone know. I'm sure all the artists here have been working incredibly hard and are going to be continue working on their work for the next few months. So they would love feedback. Um, so feel free to add comments. Um, and um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, I'll be here for a little bit. And I'll put the links in the Zoom chat and hope you guys have a great rest of the event. Found it. I was like, where'd the mute button go? <laughs> Thank you, Vincent. Yeah, check out that simple agenda. It's so helpful. Um, there's so much complexity or, you know, it could feel potentially like a lot. So it's a very simple bullet pointed list. You can get around. This thing is a work of art. I'm so grateful. And it was great looking, watching you present it. I was like, oops, that thing moved. That thing's wrong. And I can just poke some buttons on the back end in our air table and voila. Away they go and changes happen. So, um, yeah, just so much gratitude to you, Vincent, for not only like helping to find the beams, but literally also just on being curious and figuring out what how we've worked and then growing together. It's been like just the coolest. So, so excited um, for everyone to explore. Um, I know that Don's uh, workshop is starting now. So, in case you need a quick quick jump over there. We'll drop the direct Zoom link if you still somehow can't figure it out. But um, yeah, up next. Thank you, Vincent. Roxy, one last thing. I guess Mark and I are doing a different type of beaming. That's it. I'm out. I know. I thought that too. <laughs> so cool. Maybe they're one and the same. Exactly. <laughs> okay. All right. So here I am. Um, so what I wanted to do now is, I believe we have another MC, 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 um, who's going to come up and introduce the one and only Marv. That's going to be Eve. Nice, Eve. That's me. Welcome back. Welcome, welcome. I am excited to attend this workshop as well as introduce this revisionary. Marv is a showman, a speaker, an MC, beatbox champ, breathworker, sound magician. Marv Radio is the vocal alchemist. And with that, I'd like to have Marv take stage. Hello, greetings, everybody. Hope you're still basking in this new moon energy of many possibilities. So the intention for this workshop is to create a session in which you can focus on your breath, and connect back to your voice. I, th I feel that a lot of us see that the future of things is leading towards us having more ability to express and express the things we would like to see in the world or the things we would like to challenge. And this is all about finding your voice through using breath work. So I'm gonna get through a little bit of the boring stuff so we can go straight into it and you can go straight into the journey. But for 
medical purposes, if anybody is pregnant, if anybody is um, epileptic, or if anybody has chronic lung pain, heart issues, pacemaker, um, there's certain parts of this that I wouldn't advise you to do. So I'll explain a little bit about how it will work. You'll be breathing in a count, um, like in for four and out for four, and you'll hear that count with live music that I'm making here on my loop station. That part is safe for absolutely everybody. And even if you've got some sort of health issue, you can still breathe in beats. But what we're going to do this a little bit more challenging is we're going to keep empty lungs. So we're going to go into a little intermittent hypoxia so we can connect deeply to places below our logical mind and lower vibrations, more deeper subconscious places. So yes, those are the the contra contraindications of breath work. So also if you just feel in yourself that you're really not feeling well or you try and do the breath hold and it feels super uncomfortable, you can also follow your own intuition and choose not to do the breath holds. But um, for those of you who are willing and able to do the, the full breath holds, we're going to be staying in an empty lungs position for a long time and that is going to allow us to rewrite our, our neural pathways and kind of let go of anything that's that's clogging us up and step into a new reality as we vision so i'll just see there's a quick question mm -mm -mm. yeah so i think that can be answered in the chat and we're just gonna get going with some rhythms so as you hear the rhythm the main thing is tune into your voice so as the music is being created, I want you to start tuning into your body and feeling the vibration of what's happening in your from your head to your toe, from your centers to your edges, and kind of connecting to this throat area and beginning to open it up. The rest will be guided, and yeah, I'm just going to get it going so you can all experience this. tune into the question of how would I use my voice if there was never any blocks to my expression. As the music is building now, I'd like you to connect to a vision of your younger self that lives within you, this inner child, and give yourself permission to go back to a time in which your voice was held back. As a child where you were told that you could not sing or to be quiet and give yourself permission to feel whatever emotional or physical sensations you can feel as that child. Being told the lie that your voice is not beautiful, not necessary, not powerful, not welcome. And as this music is being created, You'll notice the more you can give attention and love to this sensation of being silenced, the more it will naturally alleviate by itself.
Now giving permission. Noticing the word permission is asking for support in your mission. What you ask for permission for is to be open, vulnerable and expressive. To allow your voice to be expressed with no editing, with no judgment, with presence. And with trust of what your voice wishes to express in this journey. There'll be a number of times where I invite you to use your voice. That is only an invitation, but a strongly advised one. As you allow yourself to tell this child version of yourself, your voice is welcome. Your voice is beautiful. Give yourself full permission to complete your mission, to express in a harmonious, truthful, and balanced nature. child, this expressive, pure, innocent being, given full permission, we're going to begin breathing in beats, breathing in for four and out for four, following the count, so allow yourself to relax, if you're sitting up, allow your spine to be straight, your body to be relaxed. If you choose to lie down, relax everything completely. As we begin breathing in rhythm, in harmony together, connected for the power of this salon and its intentions. Breathe all the way out and breathe in to Three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two. Three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four. 
three, four, in, two, three, in a four, moment, out, two, we're going to do our three, first breath hold, in, two, three, as we're holding this breath, four, Inner four, child to out, open to free four, as though we're opening in, a gateway two, two, as though we're three, opening a portal four, out to connect free to the purest four, expression of voice in two three so the last four, couple rounds out, of rhythmic breathing two, three four in two three four out two giving that permission three, four in Last one. In, two, three, four. Breathe out. all the way out. Now breathe in, squeeze and hold at the top. As you hold here for a moment, you're going to imagine when you breathe out that you're blowing away any blocks to your creative expression. Breathe all the way out. Hold in the emptiness. In this place, inviting you to trust. Trust that you're safe to go further than your body tells you. If you feel a desire to breathe in, fight that urge first of all. You can do that by counting down slowly from 20 to zero. Shaking your head from side to side if you feel that you need to breathe or even allowing movements of your body. And in this moment, just allowing yourself to be in this emptiness. If you really feel you have to breathe, you can take a very small, tiny inhalation through the nose and let go, like <sighs> just stay in this emptiness. This potential. In a moment, we're going to breathe in together. In five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and inhale. Hold at the top. And as though you're about to blow out the candles, but you can't just blow them out. You need to make a sound here to truly allow your child to express, to break free of those bonds. You're going to make a sound, a hum, anything just to let go of all of this energy been holding you back from your expression. Three, Three times. times. Make this, this sound. sound. to go back to its normal rhythm. As you now see that doorway, that portal of light open between your voice now, your voice throughout the future and your voice in the past. As you see this doorway opening between you and your child, the inner child, You're going to start to see clear visions in front of you, envisioning 
a reality in which your voice is fully expressed, where you can sing, speak, hum, tone, with no concern, knowing that you're, you can trust your voice and what it wants to express. In this next round, as you breathe in rhythm, again, in for four, out for four, I invite you to allow yourself to envision what the world would look like from your perspective of your voice and when your voice is fully expressed and open allowing that expression to be clear and present again empty your lungs completely and now breathe in two three four out Two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, What do you use? Three, four, out. Two, three, four, in. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, in. Two, three, four. What is possible? Two, three, four. From this place of clear expression. Three, four, out. Two, As you breathe three, for this four count. Four, in, two, three, four, Allow yourself to dream. Out, two, three, four, in, two, the joy of an expressive three, child. Four, out, two, three, and a mastery four, of an experienced in, voice. Two, three, four, out. Allowing two, that to come into your three, reality. Four, in, two, three. Four, out, two, three. If you four, like when you exhale, in, two, you can make a three, sound. Four, out, ah, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, in. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, in. Two, three, four, out. Two, three, four, in. Two, manifest with your word. Out. Two. Three, Cross the spur. four, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in. Now the last two, couple of times, three, four, out, breathing in, out, three, allow yourself to four, express on the exhale, in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, in, two, Last Three, time now, exhale, four, let it all out. <sighs> Squeeze, inhale, and hold. And as you hold here, allow yourself to step into that reality where your voice is fully expressed. As you exhale fully, allowing sound to come out of your mouth as you do so. <sighs> Stay in the emptiness. Stay in this place where all is possible. Nothing is defined. Stay empty longer than your mind wants to tell you. 
count down from 20. Shake your head. Tell yourself I will go longer and if you really need to inhale, do a quick <sighs> and stay in that emptiness. Keep holding, even when it feels uncomfortable. In five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze and inhale. Stay with that fullness. Squeezing every muscle, allowing the electricity and the fire to run through you. Allowing yourself to feel strong, to feel grounded. And when you do feel that you want to exhale for the first time, give permission for that truly expressive wild version of yourself to make any sound without having to think about it and express your intention, to the new moon energy that's still in the air, the year of the dragon, now in the next, this next round, you're going to open up to the divine aspect of your voice, the channel. That which can come through without the mind needing to understand it. I'm going to breathe a little faster here now. Breathing in for two and out for two. As we do our last round. Get ready. Tune into the reality that you occupy your highest, most divine self right now. Allowing yourself to be fully expressed. Exhale fully. Breathe in. Out. In. Two. Out. Two. One more time. Empty lungs. Breathe in, two, out, two. Like to how to 
in, to, out, to. If you're able to express with no blockage, out, to, in, to. And as you breathe out, out, to, in, you're making a sign now. Out, to, in, to, out, to, in, to, out, to, in, to, out, to. Connect in, to the divine aspect to, of yourself. Out, to, in, allowing it to bring to, miracles into out, your life. To, in, to, out, to, in, to, out, to, in, to, out, to, in, to, out. Gathering your power. In, to, this is the last time out, we're gonna do this breath hold. To, in, really pump to, that energy out. To, done so in, well. To, out. To, and yet this last in, round. To, out. To, go beyond to, your limits. In, to, out. To, in, to, out. One to, minute left. In, to, out. To, in, to, out. Feel that power to, gathering. In, to. Out, to, in, to, 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 out. Last few rounds now. In, to, out, to, in, to, out, to. In, to, out. Get ready. To, in, to, out. 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 To, breathe all the way in. Gather that warrior energy as you connect back to this innocent child, this expression. You connect to this empowered version of yourself and the most divine, empty, all the air in your lungs. <sighs> this time I'm not going to count you in. You've experienced it twice. This third time, you're going to go as far and as long as you want. I'm not going to tell you when to breathe in. You'll know for yourself. But when you do, hold that inhalation. Here, staying with us empty lungs, using those tricks, able to. Shake your head to say no and stay in this emptiness. Count down from 20 to zero. Staying in this power. If you need to, do that at least once before. You take that big inhalation, stay there. Enjoying this emptiness. Go beyond your limits. Feel this energy and this emptiness, the womb energy, the manifestation of the feminine of doing nothing and allowing this magnet within you to call forward your truly expressive voice. When you do inhale, hold for as long as you can, squeeze each muscle. And when it's time to breathe out, allow your voice to express itself. I'm going to stay here for a while as we connect back. 
back to our body and the reality within our bodies, back to this sacred portal in our throats and what can come through it. And here now, this is your chance and your opportunity to let yourself express fully, to be heard, to be seen. Just continue allowing your voice to be present as you channel from that divine aspect of yourself, whether it's light language, whistles, clicks, just allow yourself to download the keys to your own vocal liberation, the vocal alchemy of this moment. Keep channeling. from this channel, from allowing your voice to express. Just find one affirmation, one affirmation that you need to hear from yourself today, that you choose to hear from yourself today, to keep you on the path you're going on, and to allow your voice to be a divine vessel for your reality. What is that affirmation? And say it out loud. Use your voice to say, I am. I am. I am. you are. I am. We are. closing of this mantra that you've gifted yourself just say this this. this. I am am here here. I am now now. I am in this this body body. body. I am in this heart heart. I am am home I am here I am now. now. I am in this body. body. I am in this heart. heart. I I am. I am. I am. I am. Okay, I'd just like to ask you to be very gentle with yourself as you come back and check into your body and feel what's flowing for you. And just take a little bit of time. Maybe you want to move your body. Maybe you want to 
still make some sounds from your voice. But just know that you've opened a very powerful portal to vocal alchemy expression today. And I would love to see and hear as many awakened voices speaking for all of the wonderful causes that this cohort represents and everybody who's here to experience it represents. And feel free to get in touch with me if you'd like to deepen your journey with voice, breath, and visualization. And I am, yeah, I don't know. I think that was probably around the right amount of time considering when we started. Um, welcome in any reflections in the chat. I don't know if we have the ability to have anyone actually come up on stage. Yeah, okay. So if you'd like to share, please do. Thank you all for being part of that journey. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Marv. I I feel like I just transcended my body and connected to such a deeper part of my being. So thank you for that. That, that was an amazing journey that you took us on. Thank you so much. And you're getting a lot of love over here. And we have some of your social links as well. So people can continue to connect with you and do this amazing breath work with you. Sure. Thank you. Yeah, it was my, my pleasure you. to to do this i hope there wasn't any internet mess ups because i've had a few little drops in in, in timing but it worked. Was... Um, even even my dog got in on it he was breathing with us i looked over and he was breathing with us so even the animals are breathing with us <laughs> always a good experiment is is getting if your if your animal is small enough or close enough to like breathe with them they won't breathe at the same rhythm mm. because they breathe a lot faster but they might synchronize with the rate in which you breathe so they they maybe double three times your breath so it's I'll always a good to try that in the future when i more. meditate that's interesting i like yeah. that that's that's a fun little experiment to do <laughs> thank you so much marv um next up i'm gonna be introducing our lovely roxy i like that stephanie just busted up in there stephanie what you showing us i think it's an accident but i <laughs> That's totally an accident. All good. Just double checking. There wasn't like a su secret surprise. Um, yeah, totally. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Marvin, Eve, and Roxy. Yeah. And everyone who's been participating. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Marv. That was amazing. Wow. I um, have recently have been doing more breath work and um, we had a session recently with Gio from Design Time Studio, your fellow cohort member. She's a free diver in addition to being an amazing artist. And so we did some deep holds and um, all of a sudden it's something that I'm doing more and more often. And it's wild to like pair that with such like reprogramming, like it's like alchemical reprogramming of my being. Mm -hmm. That was, was an incredible gift. I'm so grateful, it was amazing. Um, thank you for bringing that. Just looking forward to when we may all be able to breathe in person. That would be a wonderful vision. We're doing it. We're going to do it. It's going to be great. Agreed. <laughs> um, Y'all, I, I just want to point out that I have um, matched the theme here. I am dissolving and I am blooming. Just to make sure you appreciate my outfit. I did that just for you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you would like that more, but I was like, oh, I got to show more. I got to show more of my cool fit. <laughs> looks amazing yeah well so. you know all made by by artists uh, by artists for artists or vintage this is very vintage. um mark we're gonna do an art tour now do you want to hang out on the art tour like be a commentary oh. or stick around i'm definitely gonna stick around the commentary <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's see um Add well, sound effects to it. There we go. Yes. Live art. It's been requested. As long as, just let me know if what I'm doing is cutting out what we need to hear from. Deal. Yeah. Some of the art does have art uh, music. So you just listen and then you know it's quiet. Um, Eve, do you want to do the, the pre-tro pre intro to the art tour? Anything else you want to say as we move into this part? Yeah, uh, I want to introduce you. Me? Yeah, you. So as most of you might know, this is Roxy the Extraordinaire, the badass babe, the woman with the vision who's making it happen. Um, she's been a great mentor to me. 
great mentor to many of us and it's such a privilege to be able to work with you, dream with you, and create with you. So Ms. Roxy will be taking us through a art tour of some of the uh, vir virtual artwork that the cohort has currently been making. And with that, I'm gonna pass it over to you, darling. Thank you, Eve. Yeah, and I'm so grateful for um, to, to be seen through your eyes. It's a very, it's a gift, so I appreciate you. Um, yeah, so we have an exhibition opening today and I wanna bring up um, anyone who's in the room who's in the exhibition. So I know that Ian is in the exhibition and helped build the exhibition. So Ian, if you are around and down to, to join me up here, that'd be great. Um, Rin, uh, Mariette, mm, let's see who else is in the room, Gio, Tayo, um, yeah, if any of y'all are, are up for, for coming on and having a moment or while we're wandering around and exploring the art, that would be great. So it looks like I see Mariette, Mariette coming on, great. We're going to bring Rin up here. Um, fully on voice. Okay, sounds good, Ian. Well, I will say many beautiful things about Ian. Um, uh, so Ian will maybe pop in. I'm going to grab Rin. Hi, Rin. Yay. Okay, looks like we've got just about everyone. Um, Marv, you're super welcome if you want. And Puppy, who's the puppy, Marriott? Uh, that's Remy. He's an unofficial participant. Hello, unofficial participant, Remy. Um, uh, Kurt in the chat says, is this the only room running? No, Kurt, we have a Choose Your Own Adventure going on. If you do not want to be in the art tour, you can pop over to the beaming room, which is beaming right now. Or you could go explore this art all by yourself. Um, all right, so I'm going to screen share and get us up in our exhibition space. Um, this, uh, the reason I was inviting Ian particularly is because by chance, Ian ended up being our um, lead world builder. Uh, Serena Trepedi um, built the base of the world. Um, I had an idea. I was like, well, what if, this is Dissolve and Bloom, what if the world container was like partially above ground and partially below ground and like kind of connecting to the like compost and the like what would it be like to be the size of a plant you know a bug or whatever and so that became sort of the base kind of hold the, the container and then um and then the invitation goes out right as as art exhibitions do with this the the installation is in the museum of regenerative art so you might have heard us say mora 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 um, that is uh, a space of, that we've been bu building worlds and that's connected to Regenera, which is a floating city and that is the heart of the Regenaissance. Uh, and it is this incredible um, collective myth and narrative that there is this floating city that we're all citizens of. And uh, periodically it, it docks. It's said that it's gonna dock in May, May 10th to the 16th, I think it's coming. Um, you'll probably get to meet some of the citizens of Regenera. Mora is in Regenera, so it's a little portal into Regenera. And um, and so we're gonna uh, wander around some of the installation. I'm gonna, before I screen share, I'm gonna kind of get myself back to the entrance over here. And then I'll screen share, great. Um, share sound, we'll probably just do share sound. Okay, so this link is um, a link that you can also find through the Catalyst page. I can grab this link as well and put it in chat. Uh, this world is ever so slightly under construction. There's still a handful of pieces that we're still refining and building. It is the first um, exhibition of the Design Science Studio artists since uh, 2022. So big deal. Um, so here we have, we are at the entrance and um, give me one second. John Van Meter is in the room. If you happen to be a host 
uh, if you can try to help track the participants coming in, I would be very much appreciative of that. Okay, so since we have Marriott and Rin here, um, I think maybe we'll we'll go explore some of their work and get to hear from them. Um, but here on the map, you can see that we have um, on the surface and underground. So. On the surface, you can see the little dots roughly. Um, there's this, the piece by Rin, Del Papa, they made that they also presented earlier if you happen to be here. But if you're not, you get to hear about Virtual Oasis Tech again from Rin. Um, Ty, Arena, Stephanie Schwartz, uh, Tayo, Giovanna, Mark Smith, Ian McIntosh, Stephen Bell, Bridget Guiza, Simone, Della, Chalvanaya, Danielle, Laura, or Lola, Mariette, Papik, and the Gaia Research Lab. I also have a piece in here, and there's a handful more that are getting installed, um, especially uh, if there's a few pieces from the artists of the Evoke Artivist Collective that we're going to debut tomorrow, and we're going to have some of them with us live. So excited about that. Um, and also, um, well, many surprises, so really excited. So when you're inside of the world, if you enter the world, just sort of like orienting yourself here, um, at any point you can push escape. You can see that there are six friends if you want to chat with anyone. Hello. You can do a little chat action over here. If there's something that you want to take a screenshot of, you're like, this is beautiful, but like the way that the controls work, you can't really take a screenshot. You can push escape and then literally take a screenshot. There's a catalog view, which is also quite nice. Um, so when you're exploring the world, you can go around to see um, exploring the pieces in catalog view. And many of the pieces have links. So this one's a little easier if for some reason your internet is um, having a hard time with the weight of the space. Um, or you can go through the 3D gallery. So with that said, uh, we're going to go in. And maybe we're going to go and meander a little bit over um, and we'll start with <clears throat> exploring rinse piece. Oh, Jurkis is here. Que linda. Amazing. Good timing. Oh, and Irena is here. Great. Okay, we can put, bring you up too. We are just in time, Jurkis, for the art tour. Or you could go pop into the beam room if you want for a little bit. There's a beam happening for like 20 more minutes. Um, I know you're just dropping in, but I just wanted to mention that. Bueno. Okay. So now that we have our crew, now that we're a little bit more oriented to the space, I apologize for the helicopter sound outside, we're going to start over here um, and go check out Rin's work. I love the massive spider. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an ant because there's also oh. like, there's a whole ant hill thing going on. There were, uh, Serena has a vision to bring in many little ants, and then it'll help lead you to the underworld. Ooh, I like that. Mm -hmm. All right, Ren. Uh, yeah. We haven't triple checked this piece with you yet to know if it's perfectly properly installed, but tell us more about Virtual Oasis. Yeah, it looks great. Um, so the process of Virtual Oasis, there's it's basically, this is the concept trailer for a AR, VR game. And what you're seeing are characters that will be played to kind of guide you throughout it. And that other voice is a, a snippet of a video that you go into the bottom one. Music resonates with magic. It tells you more. And so you can see, uh, this is just a mock-up of like a blender tree. And that was actually taken in the Houston landscape. Welcome to Virtual Oasis, a world where music intertwines with magic, nature, and art. We begin with a tree, exciting, we know. This tree is special, just like you, and it lives in a realm of where music resonates with magic. Welcome to Virtual Oasis, a yeah, world where going. music... But <laughs> we have to leave the box, otherwise it'll just loop. Uh, but... In the examples, you see this young woman, her name is Iris, and then there's Sandy and Emmanuel. And these are the three characters that are 
basically going to guide youth who are playing the game to explore different communities and levels and emotions. And the abstract nature of the art is displaying how they literally are getting this uh, capacity to see the music and see how it's evolving and uh, encouraging growth within the actual environment that they're creating. So that's why it's called Virtual Oasis Tech, uh, because it's an, an umbrella for not just this game, but for future endeavors. And the, the company's mission is to inspire and empower through creativity for planetary health. And then the, the first box is on top of it. There's nothing inside, but you might, you know, be driven to the trailer. Uh, and that's, that's the composition. Amazing. And if you click on it, you can connect with the project site um, yes. and explore more. What's the best way for folks to support this initiative right now, Rin? Yeah. Uh, so right now I, I have, I'm going to be updating the website to include like an interview and I'm looking for people who want to be beta testers or survey respondents, basically looking for strategic partnerships and individuals that once this game is further developed would be able to support with either feedback or sharing it with their community. Uh, the website you're looking at right now is exploring more of the development behind it, the vision of the company, the sustainability development goals, how it aligns. And I'll be including that uh, survey and basically interview sign up on there. And until then, feel free to follow up with the email list. And so I'll just add your email and I'll make sure that I'll update everyone. Congratulations, Ren. This is incredible. Thank Yay. you. I cannot wait to see how this continues to evolve. So here's the mailing list at the bottom, yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I love the narrative element behind it and the like characters and the story and the potential. It's so it's so powerful. Awesome. Appreciate it. Yes, thank you. Um okay, let's get back in here. Okay, I locked. Oh, it's reloading. Great. Um while it's reloading, maybe I'll bring up our see who, who recently popped in. So we, yeah, we have Irena. Do you wanna go next? We can go explore your, your work. Sure. Okay, let's go find your piece. My computer's doing a lot of things right now. It's like streaming and screen sharing. Okay, let's find, see where you are at the world. Oops, I need you know. I believe you are on the other side of this hill. Let's just double check. Um, you are number three. So yeah, I think you're over, over yonder. Let's go beyond, beyond the water. There's some pretty magical stuff in here. I'll do a little secret reveal on the way. What? This is Ian's work. Oh, someone has to let whoever in. If you're a co-host, please click enter. <laughs> or I get locked out. I can't move. Thank you. Okay, great. Whoa. Um, this is Ian's piece called Pluto's Cave. It is incredible. So much more. So much to say about that piece, I am sure. Um, Oops, I'm trapped again. Trapped again. I need my co-hosts to be extra paying attention right now. Thank you. <laughs> Pretty please. Okay. All right, let's go up, up, and be in a way. Um, I think I see it off in the distance. Arena, do you want to tell us a little bit about your piece while we're wandering over there? Uh, there sure. Oh, hi, everyone. Hi. Happy to be here. Um, I guess I just did a short animation in honor of the Lunar New Year. But my piece is focused on the Celtic calendar. And the Celtic calendar um, associates a tree. Yeah, that's it. Associates a tree with every lunar cycle. So a new moon to new moon. And, you know, the original 
calendar makers were lunar and probably women and they understood the relationship between the trees and the um they recognized the connection between trees and humans and they trees had certain characteristics magical characteristics that they thought that also apply to people and so it just it's just a short animation that basically goes through the 13 trees of the year um and if, if you go into it you should see a, a little bit of a moon a moon yeah Yeah, that's pretty much it's just basically just loops. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what is going on outside of my house. I live in a very quiet place, and all of a sudden there's like 15 helicopters. I'm like, is there something happening? Not today. Uh, not, today. <laughs> not a quiet place today. <laughs> today. Um, I just want to acknowledge like the beauty that you brought in. The like, it's the Lunar New Year, and yeah. Um, this kind of being in relationship with the seasons and really responding to that opportunity, like as, as artists to also bring others into relationship with like myth and, you know, cultural traditions. There's many, I know folks who are like taking, this is their new year. They're literally like, this is the time that they celebrate the new year and they go on vacation and like, they refuse, they're like, this is not a time to work. This is a time to celebrate. Um, and be you know, in relationship with those cycles and seasons. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you for creating. Thank you both. I mean, we, we just went from, you know, a piece that was talking about like transforming Rin, like your, your life experience and then how you transform that into creative action to create a more accessible world. And um and more opportunities you know there's this also this piece it's just the beginning kindred our plan is to expand your our piece um i'll turn the volume down a tiny bit but this is ty's piece which is also about digital spaces and access in digital spaces to ensure growth with the industry so characters of color aims to challenge the status quo by bringing more diversity to the forefront of the gaming industry we believe that by doing so, we can contribute to a more inclusive and enriching gaming experience for all devs and In a world where we spend an increasing amount of time in digital spaces, the importance Oops. not be overstated. Enter Characters of Color, a pioneering initiative designed to inject diversity into the game industry's art and character creation. Why? Characters off color, we firmly believe that representation matters. The characters we encounter in games should be as diverse as the world we live in. Our mission is to fill this gap, and in doing so, promote a more inclusive gaming experience for all players. Our contribution is high quality, low poly 3D models. To accomplish our mission, we are creating a range of 3D character models that are ready to be integrated into any game or animation. These models are low poly, ensuring optimal performance and subdividing, and are of the highest quality. Each character model has been rig and animation tested accurately. They are not just some generic models, but of great quality and distinctive. Features that reflect the rich diversity of the African diaspora. Our focus is representing the African diaspora. Africa is a continent of remarkable ethnic variation. 
however, for this model launch our focus is on representing the descendants of Africans who were scattered across the globe due to the transatlantic slave trade. By focusing on this demographic, we aim to do two things. First, to inject diversity that reflects the amazing diversity of our world. Second, to provide low-poly character base models that can easily be used for game and animation projects. The future of characters of color. This model launch is just the beginning. Our plan is to expand our character range to include more ethnic groups and cultures from around the world. Characters of color will be constantly updated with industry technical trends to ensure growth with the industry. So, Characters of Color aims to challenge the status quo by bringing more diversity to the forefront of the gaming industry. We believe that by doing so, we can contribute to a more inclusive and enriching gaming experience for all devs and players, regardless of their background. In Amazing! So cool. And there's a blog here that you can learn more about um, the project and Ty who is also an artist of color and um, get involved. And yeah, so excited about this. Like, I really, I, I personally am hopeful that there is some sort of weaving that can happen between you, Rin and Ty. It feels like such a, a serendipitous opportunity to co-create. Shall we go into the underworld? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, okay, we're gonna go find Gaia. Where is Gaia? Research lab. Harriet, do you wanna share a little bit about Gaia while I find? Gaia, Gaia is our is our new friend. Our new, our new large language model that we've been working on this year. Some of you may have heard a little bit about them. Gaia is a model that we are designing and actively involving ourselves in because we have a question. If you can imagine Gaia working for Gaia. And can we use this new technology to match the complexity? That's been a big question for us. So we've been working on it since about April altogether. And there's a bit of a backstory there too, that I think is back to you, Roxy, and to, um, to a conversation that became this. Absolutely. Um, Bliss or Julia, if someone can help let the people in the breakout room inside. I get trapped inside of the virtual world and I can't click on anything if someone's in the waiting room. Thank you. Um, yeah, I mean, to say about Gaia. So the my partner, my beloved, who just walked in, uh, speaker John Ash, he is a machine learning engineer and artist and a lot of his work is about systems change. And he was really fascinated uh, and deeply studied in like what might a world that um, where systems incentivize social good and, um, you know, in the, the attention economy and all of this is sort of like rewarding um, folks who make like accurate predictions and like actually support um, folks who are working towards well-being and how that like if, what would the world look like if those are the incentivization systems and what might need to be in place. And so um, the Gaia Research Lab, which was very much born he's a member of the design science studio and he was like i think the design science studio um as a community of practice to have a large language model that represents the work is a huge opportunity to um e experiment with this what does it look like to build co collective coherence and and kind of reorient to the way that we're living and to make visible another way and to do to to create interfaces that <clears throat> can help to represent the community, actually. Um, there's a PDF here that's attached where you can explore the, si the slides from the recent fireside chat, and you can learn about what it is, the considerations ethically. I know Steven just popped in, so I'm not sure if you wanna say a few words. I know we're almost at the end of the art tour. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I can I can say this is an abbreviated slideshow um because I, I wanted to get the size down. But yeah, it um essentially we're answering the question, what is Gaia? How do we think about the ethical implications of what we're doing when we're working with an AI? Um, especially it's kind of a fraught conversation around is AI replacing humans, uh, even in the realm of creativity. And so what I'm doing is also doing a kind of tour of um, these quotes that I've taken from media um, criticism and theory, um, people like Marshall McLuhan and Arthur C. Clarke. And um, so just understanding where have we come from in terms of understanding what are we doing with media and is there um, a, a kind of relationship that we're creating with media as human beings that is uh, creating this feedback loop of um, in the same way that we you know, create our spaces and our architecture and then thereafter that those uh, forms of, of technology start forming us um, and almost extruding us into a, a kind of mold, is this technology doing the same to us? And so this has been a an, an long ongoing question, um, going back to Marshall McLuhan, talking about the, uh, the enchantment of the, the narcissist uh, kind of trance that, that we can get into when we're looking at this technological mirror. And then it starts creating this like, am I imitating art or, or, or is art imitating reality? Like the, it becomes this holographic mirror and it, it actually takes us back to ourselves to try to understand who am I? What am I trying to become here? And, and really question our relationship with technology in a way that we can be very conscious and mindful of it. And I want to just acknowledge in that share, Stephen, you know, people, people, friends, um, <laughs> you can, you can get a sense of like the depth of like care and intention and, and um, consideration that, you know, Stephen, that you bring also you, Mariette, like, who, despite the fact that yes, like, John Ash definitely is the machine learning engineer and has trained this whole thing and really is the prov prov or um, person to provoke what it is that we um, have created and, you know, helped us understand what it means and what it takes to train a large language model. Um, and yes, as a, you know, core steward and founder of the Design Science Studio, I've helped create so much of um, and, and curate uh, and store and <laughs> organize and whatever, uplift so, so much of what we have um, put in, but there's so much that you and Mariette have brought in to the, the model. And now we've opened up the Gaia Research Lab um, for other folks to join in as collaborators and, um, and explore how Gaia, who named, named themselves Gaia, um, can you know become this reflective mirror we've talked a lot about mirrors lately like what is that mirror um and what is it telling us about our becoming as a community and uh, what it is that we're creating for um i'm going to leave us on this piece by geo geo has a few more pieces that we'll kind of publish tomorrow but um definitely just want to say you know we went through what four pieces there's i think 17. <laughs> so um and every one of them is just a portal into such depth and beauty from the creators uh, within the community. And uh, I really encourage everyone to jump in and explore. And we'll do another art tour tomorrow as well. So that concludes the art tour. And that also concludes this portion of the stream. So we're going to close the stream and reopen it for our final portion of Dissolve and Bloom. So I just want to, as artists who are all a part of the exhibition, thank you for your creative contributions. Stephen, I know you have a whole other incredible piece that we didn't get to explore. Um, I think that uh, we should definitely go down that uh, 
I don't even know. I called it an elevator the other day, portal. It's also very kindred to the lunar, like you missed the arena sharing about the lunar new year and her piece, which is about the 13 moon. So anyways, a little Easter egg for folks and definitely hope that everyone um, enjoys and checks out the art tour tomorrow. Congratulations also everyone. Um, and thanks, big, big thanks again to everyone who helped get the the art installation ready i know it's been a big big labor of love um lots of energy lots of time lots of passion lots of skill um and uh so much there so thank you again ian and thank you um julia has been putting in the metadata um and a bunch of other folks oh i'm losing my voice and next where so i'm going to close and reopen the stream and i do believe what awaits us on the other side is our friend Jurgis. so excited for that um so for the the restart anyone out there in the streamland thank you for being a part of this segment of dissolve and bloom invite you to come in this is a two-day event all of the proceeds go to support our diversity equity access scholarship and access fund diversity equity inclusion um, we're going to, going to hear more from one of the core stewards of the design science studio d empress evoke tomorrow about the evoke artivist collective and all of the efforts that we're um, that we have in the design science studio to create a more uh, diverse and accessible um, place that is equitable for all all artists and these are artists all from the african diaspora um and that in this whole initiative of evoking belonging so we'll get to hear more from her tomorrow um but there's so many folks who uh were able and are able to be a part of the design science studio because of the the scholarship access fund and um the fundraising is literally for the folks who are in right now um to support continuing to amp up uplift and and do all the operational support that it takes to actually um do the best we can to as an incubator um uh, create a container that can continue to cultivate um, and support, which also means supporting the container. So it's all one beautiful um, interwoven effort and um, an, an expression of life's longing for itself. So I just wanna thank everyone, Eve, so many people who have been a part of it. Um, so I'm just gonna toggle off the screen. Maybe we do a, another quick um, wiggle break and uh, we'll be back here in just a minute or two.